Okay, we're going to add together w plus 1 over w minus 5 plus w minus 1 over w minus 6. But you can't add unless you have a common denominator. So basically the w plus 1 over w minus 5 is missing the w minus 6. And the w minus 1 over the w minus 6 is missing the w minus 5. So we can multiply those in. I'm going to give the, the left one, the first one, a w minus 6, and the right one a w minus 5. And what I mean is I'm multiplying it in. Multiplying it top and bottom are the same, so it just equals 1. So we're allowed to do that. All right, from here we're going to uh, FOIL the numerators because now we have a common denominator so we can put it all together. So um, in order to, to do that, we're going to have to FOIL the tops or multiply the tops if you're not familiar with FOIL. And let's see, the first one I get uh, w squared and minus 6w plus 1w is minus 5w and then minus 6. For the other side, I get uh, another w squared, minus 5w, and minus 1w is minus 6w, and then a plus 5. That's all over our new common denominator of w minus 6, w minus 5. Combining like terms, I get 2w squared, minus 11w, minus 1. And then we just have to make sure that we can't simplify it. But if I multiply the a and the c, the 2 and the negative 1, I get negative 2. There's not going to be any factors of negative 2 that add up to negative 11. So that's how I know that I'm done.